idea now. My name is Sue Moss Sullivan and this is my idea. Our show runs the gamut from uh, very traditional weavings, but always with the artist's own twist to them. And we still honor the traditions of weaving. It's a very, very ancient craft and art form. We now call it fiber art only because this, this medium has evolved to so many different th techniques and uses baskets, felt, um, handmade papers, along with some mixed media, but primarily of fiber materials. So it, it's uh, an amazing show. Our artists in Oklahoma are uh, an amazing group of people that submit and they are very dedicated to their craft and to their art and they honor our show by entering their work and we are so thrilled to have all of them. It started out at Omniplex. We had a, a good friend at the time, Robin Black, was uh, in charge of uh, displays and shows and exhibits, touring exhibits at the uh, Omniplex, which is now the Science Museum by the um, zoo. By then, in the 70s, fiber had taken on more of an art form and it was even in big museums and that sort of thing. Big tapestries worked like that. So she asked us if we'd like to just install a show. It was not juried. We asked many artists to submit. They did. But we also had a, a well-known uh, fiber artist and educator come in and judge the show and gave out awards, gave a lecture, and that kicked off fireworks and it has never stopped. We have been in um, many facilities from Omniplex and we went through several phases there. We ended up out at City Arts for a while and now we've been at IO and are thrilled to be here, especially in the new facility. And that's how we got started. Our juror this year is Jean Rafer Beck from uh, New York State near, in a small town near Rochester, New York. She's very credentialed, um, runs workshops, that sort of thing. She'll be coming in uh, Tuesday, June 13th, before the show, to jury the show. Our show is still juried by the piece, not by slides, because our show is so diverse with so many techniques that it's really much easier and more honorable in that case for the juror to see each piece to decide which piece gets in. No matter what you see in our show, if you look closely and want to be educated, some part of each work has an old technique in it, whether it's coiling a basket or uh, using those techniques in another way. So even the felt pieces might be the new trend is purses and scarves and things, but the ancient um, Middle East tribes used, uh, they were nomadic, used yurts. Many people know what a yurt is. That is a big wall of felt. So the, it's been a, it, they are all old techniques brought to the 21st century. My name is still Sue Moss Sullivan, and this was my idea.